NerdErotic.com. The point that was missed by a lot of our detractors who are only there to get uh, some attention because they can't get it based on their actual takes. You know, some people are just born with bad takes. I mean, that's life. I wouldn't recommend reviewing film if you have horrible taste. I think that's pretty important for being a film critic. And that's why, you know, the shills get so resentful. Um, because some of them might have good taste, but they're but they're lying to you, and they're being caught, and they don't like it. But the point was, it wasn't the costume. Fans will always complain about costumes. I am the first one to do that. That's been my biggest complaint about the Nolan films. I think they're fantastic movies. I think uh, Batman Begins is great. It's a terrible Batman costume. It's an awful Batman costume. People complain about costumes all the time. People complain about casting. It's it's not what she said. It's how she said it and who she said it to. So, you know, some people on this platform are really good at missing the point or they're being disingenuous. I don't care. Either way, it's, it's not my problem. Uh, they can say what they want on their channels. It's basically her saying, uh, yeah, you're all sexist for watching this misogynist show. She completely disrespected the creator. She disrespected every fan. She disrespected the voice actors for this show. And listen, I know very little about this show. That's probably why I didn't make a video. It's, um, it's, it's something I saw on the background of my shop when my employees played it. I sold Cowboy Bebop toys at the shop, and I am aware of how popular it was. That's about it. Probably watch it someday. Nothing against it. It just uh, anime and manga over the course of my life haven't been my thing until recently. Hey, guys. So as you know, our Cowboy Bebop first look dropped today, which was so exciting. And I just wanted to address a couple of things that sort of keep coming up in the comments amongst fans. First, I wanted to apologize to the fans that I did not anatomically match the Faye Valentine character. Um, six foot, double D size breast, two inch waist. You know, they looked as many as have pointed out. Um, she could have researched her own character. Now, apparently this character is five foot five and she's got uh, big anime titties and that's fine. We like that. This actress didn't need to have that. That's not what people were really complaining about. The vast majority of them were complaining about the uh, laziness of the costume. Basically, it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. And it's because they are desexualizing women in Hollywood because of the Me Too Time's Up movement. And thankfully, we're seeing more women speak out against this and speak up against it because it's not bad to be sexualized. It's not bad to be pretty. It's not bad to have your heroes look like uh, something uh, aspirational, including their physique. That's what we like. I don't want to see 52-year-old dad bod fucking Captain America running around. I don't. I get to see that every day in the mirror, okay? I don't want to see, I want to see uh, a jacked up, steroided up fucking superhero beating the shit out of bad guys. That's all we want. It's pretty simple. No, we don't want um, fucking uh, right-wing politics in. And to the credit of every conservative and Republican that has been in my chats and in my chat, none of them have ever asked for that. None of them. They're just like, hey, can we just enjoy the thing we loved for years that we never had a problem with until recently? And all of a sudden, we're the racists and we're the white supremacists. And that's the game Hollywood has played on everyone. They have convinced everyone that this is the fans' fault. I'm sorry, the fans uh, didn't cast Cowboy Bebop. The fans uh, didn't ask for Danielle to go on her Instagram and sound like an idiot. The fans uh, didn't make any casting decisions over the last few decades. The fans weren't the ones not casting black leads or Asian leads. Uh, by the way, uh, today will be the first day we get uh, Asians in a film according to Disney, so congratulations. Finally, we get that representation. I mean, The Crow didn't exist or, you know, all of, you know, Chow Young Fat movies and Bruce Lee movies. And um, listen, I'm not a big kung fu movie guy, but um, yeah, they're full of shit. So the costume debate is, it like it's a typical Netflix adaptation. They're shit. So they just went with my short ass. I know. Am I right? You know, there was talk about, like, can we put Danielle in a time machine and maybe give her different parents so she has different genetic information to sort of... Is she calling people racist here? ...make her look better? It proved to be too complicated. And the other thing I wanted to bring up was I want to apologize that the outfit I'm wearing is not exactly what she wears in the anime. You know, we tried. Um, 
But doing stunts in tissue paper, things disappear, they rip, sometimes it just got lost. Anyway, like I was saying, that original costume, uh, they made a couple of them, but like I said, they got sort of slurped up in my various crevices, never to be retrieved again. So we needed to really. That's the kind of thing you want to put out there, that you that you have a vacuous singularity hoo-ha. Build something that could withstand the test of time. So just, you know. Just, you know. Um, now that video's gone. Uh, Netflix has doubled down because Netflix is the platform of cuties and uh, Kevin Smith and Kevin Smith uh, in his uh, glorious uh, 420 way talked, said too much and said, Netflix doesn't care what you think um, because they don't look at each project individually. And this will be the death of art, by the way. They um, basically just look at how many subs they have. And I'm sure they look at each individual uh, movie and series uh, and how it performs based on the amount of subs. But it doesn't matter because if they're still gaining subs, they can put whatever they want on. And it is it is shit. I, I borrow a password and it's absolute shit. Now, there was something good. There was something very good uh, that I watched again last night. Uh, the Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf anime loved it uh but i can't recommend it because it's on that platform and it was already lost i mean it just came out a few days ago maybe even a couple of days ago and when i went back to look at their menu like i had to search for it it's like i just watched it oh well might have something to do with it but not being my password but uh yeah so there's the costume it doesn't look good the hair doesn't look good the hair looks terrible i mean where's the headband i mean i am again i'm no fan but you think the headband should be there. I don't know why they always mute yellow, but she, she attacked fans, okay? That's the problem I have. Fans are off limits, plus that was just incredibly stupid, something you did not need to do. You saw a couple of people spurg out at you on fucking Twitter, so what? That That's, that's life. Happens to me daily. It's happening to my wife now. You know, that's for the longest time. That's why I kept it to Mrs. Nerdrotic because, uh, you know, I didn't want like my wife to see crap like that, but she is now and uh, she's cool with it. It's fine. That's part of part of the gig. You just don't say anything. You don't bring it to light and you move on or you come out and say something like, hey, uh, I heard some of the feedback about the costume. I just signed up for a job and I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, I hope you really enjoy the series. Uh, we know that this series has a lot of, has a huge fan base that love it. We are going to try to make the best adaptation we can for you. That's all you need to say or nothing at all. Now, privately, if you want to bitch to your friends, do that. But uh, yeah, going out in public and doing that is just dumb. But Netflix doesn't care. Netflix doesn't care because they got your money anyway. If you like what I do here, please consider subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the videos. It really does help. And if you did this with your favorite YouTuber as well, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I do.